to the virtual room. My name is Jackie Host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is from PAA, and this is Cavendish. Cavendish is possibly the nicest tobacco scent I've ever smelled. It's a very sweet tobacco. The scent strength of the puck is probably about a six out of 10. But in normal PAA fashion, they kind of open up once lathered, but no, it's it truly, truly is a lovely scent. That's gonna be our soap today, and that's in CK6, like pretty much everything I use from them. So we're gonna be using that. Our razor is new. Uh, this is a Portland Razor Co. Um, 7 eighths with a square point with a muted tip, a slight barber's notch in there, you can see. It has crinite scales and some really nice file work, if you look at that. I've shaved with this once before, and I have to say, I was actually really impressed with the eggs they put on it. Um, I bought this razor in a charity auction, so I, I just had the highest bid and I, I got it there. My brush of choice today is also new, and this is a Mozingo Brushworks. I think it's, this is the ZT2, which is his um, hand tied knot. This is Mother of Pearl, that's what I'm gonna call it. And there's a reason I bought this, which you'll find out soon. The knots are kind of like ice gelled. They are gelled, but they're not like super, super gelled. So we're gonna, that is kind of more of my preference, honestly. Uh, I find with gel knots, they don't pick up soap quite as well. Um, where are we? Okay. With CK6, you really don't need too much soap. It's easy to burn through. So I know how long I'm gonna load this for. Another couple seconds here. Boom, That's that should do CK6. Let's get the glasses off, get the lather going, and uh, get shaven. So another straight razor shave. I enjoy these, man. I am. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love using DEs. But there's something so rewarding to me about shaving with straight razors. Uh, Oh, this scent is so good. This is, like I said at the start, I think this is my favorite tobacco scent. It's just so nice. Let's actually get a bit of pre-shave on here, because why not? Got the cube here. So how are you guys today? I'm doing pretty well. Um, you know, always better once you settle down with a shave. I say this in every video, but I need to. With a pre-shave, you want um, to incorporate water into it. You don't want it to be gloopy or kind of like clumpy because and then defeats the point of using a pre-shave to begin with. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, lather up. This is my first use of this brush. It shed about three hairs already, which isn't a good sign. Um, let's go. I, I found with CK6, you can get away with like a 10 second load. And honestly, if you don't, and you load for like 30 seconds, you can eat through that soap fast. Really nice face feel on this brush. A little bit of scrub, but I like that. Let's uh, get some distilled water in there. I've been... Uh... Man, I've been chatting to... Um... Shaving with Chief quite a bit. That's a stellar dude, I'm telling you, he's a great guy. If you haven't checked him out yet, I recommend you do. Dude, the hairs are like, fucking hell. I've, I've probably got seven hairs from this thing. Maybe doing the tribute video of Chris has cursed me. 
What did you, I'm only yoking. So I saw um, Chris, my MCB, um, he said something along the lines of, um, I, I take a lot of time lathering, which I do, that's, you know, there's no doubt about that, but um, I, I, I have to say, and I, I will reiterate this, you do not need to do this. I enjoy doing this. I find it a lot of fun. However, if all you care about is the results of the shave, the goal for everyone should be, well, I mean, the, old, the final goal should be, did I, did I have a shave with no cuts, sweepers, creepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles, as he would say. Um, if I've done that, I've done my part of shaving and I, you know, I've had a good shave ultimately. Um, if you're still getting irritation and all of the aforementioned ailments, then that wasn't a good shave, in my opinion. I I look at as the I look at the ritual and experience of shaving as much of an important part as the results for me. Um, that's why I do really take my time with lathering. Again, it's not particularly necessary. You don't need to. But uh, this is really fun for me. Making making big voluminous lathers. To be honest, like. I just like really high drinks, so I, I find it fun playing with soap, is the way I would put it. So I can tell you immediately, based off my first use, this isn't as good as the Declaration B6. Um, it's a good knot. It has decent face fill. Little bit of scrub, not too much scrub. Um, but it, it doesn't... Uh, the flow through is not as good as the B6 in my opinion, I can tell you that already. CK6 just grows, dude. Okay, let's paint some water in and we'll actually get to shaving. So, with straights, density isn't as important as slickness. And the way you create slickness is through moisture. So that's the aim today, is just to get some moisture in the knot. I'm going to keep working this because, you know, that's what we do. <laughs> This is a nice knot. I mean, I'm not gonna deny that, dude. I've lost so many fucking hairs though. It's one more. Hopefully this calms down. Cause yeah, that, that shit annoys me. I have bad language. I wholeheartedly accept that responsibility. I try, but it is just part of my dialect, I'm sorry. I'm happy with the moist, or the moisture in the soap. So we're gonna get shaven. So I did about a 15 second load with this maybe, and it was way more than enough. CK6, you don't need to load heavy. Um, I think there's a few aspects to that. If you load heavy, you create a lot of volume. I don't really care for that. Um, I want something that more, has more density and is, uh, fuck me, more low structure, like this. So let's get to shaving here. So something I'm gonna be practicing in this shave is longer strokes. Um, I've been watching my good Hawaiian friend, Kai Triska, and uh, with, with larger blades, it's much easier just to keep moving. So that's, that's the aim today. Wow. 
about. So I kind of doesn't have a goatee. I have a goatee, so I have to be pretty careful on there. Cool. Switch hands here. So it's clean easily up to the blade. It shows good hydration. So my hair growth at the bottom of my neck is almost up. So it grows in a completely different direction at the bottom of my neck. I so regularly do dumb things with my other hand. Very nice. Let's dry off the blade a bit. And we'll get to lathering up for pass two. So, like I said, I'm trying to incorporate um, longer strokes to keep larger blades moving. I think is a really good bit of advice because momentum means quite a bit. Makes the. It's also being. It's also having like a stroke map. You know, I mean, what do I mean by that? Make the same strokes you would every time. Figure out the strokes you need to make and do them. And I think that's a lot of the reason why someone like Dave Card is so fast, because he, every shave, he does those same strokes and it's consistent because of that, you know? <sighs> that's a good first pass. Let's lather up for the second one. Dude, this thing's just fucking shedding hair, bro. Like loads of fucking hair. Excuse my French, but... <laughs> it's loads of hair. It's been like eight hairs, I think. Hopefully that doesn't continue because that would uh, annoy me a little bit. Okay. Just a tad. <laughs> Okay, let's go cross grain here. Yeah, the, the, the longer strokes I find a bit easy to do. And I think it is down to keeping that blade moving.
Noxious tap. Okay, let's uh that's kinda like the cross grain pass done. Do the inverted pass and uh, we'll leave it there. Again, inverted pass. I found it from Dave Card, which this is very useful for me, honestly. It helps me reach places I can't generally reach. Cool, that is the shave. Much quicker with the shortest, with the longest strokes for me. And I actually reduced more hair, I think. Uh, yeah, it's actually really quite close. Let's uh, touch up on this bit again. And uh, we'll pull it out. This is becoming easier and easier for me, so that's always a good thing. Okay, let me get this uh, soap from the brush on my face before my face wash, and I'll see you guys to the post. I'll be right back. Hey guys, post shave time. That was a good shave. Very good shave. Okay, so we are gonna use the uh, Matching Splash by PAA. This is Cavendish. I found something that really works for me. Um, Doug Bear recommended it to me, so get a bit on. That should be enough. So you get the splash here, you mix it, and then you just let the alcohol burn off after you've mixed it. So we're gonna give it a few seconds here and it works. <clears throat> it actually works really well. I did it a couple of days ago and there was virtually no burn, so. Yep, works, works a treat. Well, that was a good shape. Okay. Our last post shape product. It's gonna be the product I'm currently testing. And this is the Hoshitsu Elixir by Ariana and Evans. Just do one squirt, slightly wet hands here. One squirt, boom. Like that. Man, just get, get that all over the face. Great show. Okay, uh, let's do a recap of the products and let you guys go. Um, so today was Cavendish by Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. Probably the nicest tobacco scent. CK6 always performs well, so really happy with that soap. Razor was our 7.8 um, 
square point, muted point by Portland Razor Co. This really nice file work and uh, Cranite Scales, I believe they're called. I really like this razor. Um, Hunter and Scott did a fantastic job. You should check them out. Um, very cool guys. My Mother of Pearl, Mozingo Brushworks. Um, this is the ZT2, or also known as the Shedder. I lost about eight hairs in this shave, probably more. So it's actually a really nice knot. It has a good amount of backbone, um, enough splay for me to be happy, and it produce, produces a really nice lather. My post is the Matching Splash Cavendish, and Ariana and Evans Hoshitsu Elixir. Really good product, absorbs incredibly quickly, and yeah, I, I can't really say much more. And a cameo roll for the Lancaster Razorworks red towel. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. Um, if you know around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so, I very much appreciate it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day, and goodbye for now.